Video 2, Arthrocentesis. This patient has a right knee effusion. Palpate the joint and identify the extensor surface. Vessels and nerves are less commonly found here. With firm pressure, use a ballpoint pen with the writing tip retracted to mark the specific area of the joint for aspiration. This will mark the area where the patella ends on the lateral side. You can enter the joint space either medial or lateral to the kneecap. In this case, we will enter laterally below the superior lateral portion of the patella. Place a rolled up towel underneath the knee to open up the joint space. Place chucks underneath the knee to keep the area clean. Prep the joint area skin with an aseptic solution such as betadine. Apply the betadine in a circular pattern as shown. Put on your sterile gloves. Use a 25 gauge needle with a 5 cc syringe to administer 1 or 2 percent lidocaine. Make a skin wheel with the lidocaine at your point of entry. This will numb the skin area prior to aspiration. Continue to administer more lidocaine up to the patella and into the joint space. Depending on how much fluid you need to aspirate, connect a 20 to 60 cc syringe to an 18 or 20 gauge needle. Aspirate as you enter the joint space laterally. The needle should pass right below the patella. You can also try pushing the effusion from the medial side with your opposite hand towards the needle. Have entered the joint space, you will aspirate a clear to straw colored fluid. This is your effusion. Remove as much of the effusion as possible. You will need to send this for further studies. Apply gauze to the area if there is any minor bleeding. Send the effusion for the following studies. Cell count with a differential, culture and gram stain, evaluation for crystals, LDH, glucose, and protein. When clinically indicated, you may also send the fluid for AFB stain, fungal cultures, or Lyme PCR. Congratulations, you've successfully completed an arthrocentesis.